Mastering passive voice, making negative statements. Hello, language learners. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the world of the passive voice, focusing on forming passive voice negative statements. It's an essential part of English grammar that often poses challenges for learners, but worry not. We'll tackle it together, step by step. To form negative statements in the passive voice, you must first understand what the passive voice is. The passive voice is used when the focus is on the action, not who or what is performing the action. For example, the cake was eaten. It is not important or not known, however, who or what did the eating. Now, to form a negative statement in the passive voice, we simply introduce the word, not, after the auxiliary verb, usually, be, or, get. For example, the passive voice of, they are making a cake, becomes, a cake is not being made. The passive voice of, someone will open the gift, becomes, the gift will not be opened. Remember, the important part here is to include the word, not, after your auxiliary verb. Let's now look at some more examples to get a better understanding. The project is completed. To, the project is not completed. The letters will be sent tomorrow. To, the letters will not be sent tomorrow. The car was cleaned. To, the car was not cleaned. Keep practicing these transformations with different sentences. It will soon become second nature. Just like any other grammar rule, there are some exceptions and special cases when forming negative statements in the passive voice. For example, if the active sentence is negative, the not remains in the passive sentence. The active sentence, I did not break the window, becomes, the window was not broken by me. Also, the verb get is sometimes used instead of be in the passive voice, especially in informal English. For example, the car got damaged instead of the car was damaged. Well, there we have it. With a bit of practice, forming passive voice negative statements can be straightforward and simple. Keep practicing and don't forget that the word, not, follows the auxiliary verb. Until next time, happy learning and remember, practice makes perfect.